and it's so great to have you here in Vienna. Uh, is it the first time you are here in, in the uh, capital of Austria? It certainly is. I've never been to Austria and mm. uh, it's my first time here and what a, a beautiful city to be in. It's great. And you had the last few days of summer. <laughs> well, I've been blamed by about 10 people for bringing Isla weather to Vienna because today it has just rained all day. But yeah, I caught the very end of a beautiful two sunny days. But today it's just it's just like being on Isla, raining all day. And But you didn't come here to bring us Isla weather. You brought a new bottling. Yep. Yes, we have uh, just launched our uh, most recent instalment of the Trivan series, mm -hmm. uh, batch number six. And yeah, I'm delighted we're going to have a taste and talk through what's been a, a great series, the slight differences batch to batch. So I'm looking forward to so it. So what, what was the idea behind the, the, the series when you, when you started them? Well, well, the idea originally was the the makeup is always it's a 19 year old yeah. as you know so uh, age of the youngest spirit has to be 19 years old um we wanted to do something where we showed off the best of our beg with a bit of age and um you know we'd come out of the 20 something series so we went for a, a 19 year old mm -hmm. we wanted to put together an Ardbeg from refill bourbon casks and refill Oloroso casks because we use, you know, quite a few Oloroso casks for Ugadal. So we wanted to do something with the refills. Um, and then the idea when we first launched Trivan, which was before I came, I've, I've been at the distillery since 2020, um, was that somebody from the distillery or the team close to the distillery would have final say in selecting their pick, if you like, for the for the Trivan. So Mickey Heads, my predecessor, Mickey picked, Jackie Thompson, then Bill Lumsden, Dr. Bill, then myself was mm -hmm. batch four, Gillian McDonald and the whiskey creation team who does a lot of great stuff, batch five, and this year it's our head warehouseman, Dugga, Douglas Bowman, this is his pick. So there's always a slight difference. Um, and yeah, we're, this, but it's, it's, it's been great. Um, I did a tasting quite recently just to go um, remind myself of the differences, batches one to, to six. So there, there's always a subtle difference between. So them. how can we imagine the, the selection process? Do you go into the warehouses, taste different casks or? Well, we, we, we do a lot of sampling. So we have quite an active uh, sampling regime, much to my warehouse team's uh, <laughs> delight. We go in and um, Bill and the team and Gillian and the whiskey creation team will select casks that they want to try and keeping an eye. Now, 19 years ago, um, so what are we, back 2005, um, you know, the distillery was, we weren't making big volumes, but we, we laid down a little bit of spirit. So we keep an eye on a lot of these casks. And then what we do is, the whiskey creation team, Bill and, and, and Gillian, will sit, they will put together maybe five or six samples yeah. that they think, right, there's maybe 80% uh, refill bourbon, 20% refill Oloroso, and maybe slight uh, differences. And then whoever's selecting will sit with and, and, and pick their favourite. So it's great because we're involved in... Actually, Dugga, who has picked this year's, he probably knows the casks better than anyone. He's my head warehouseman, so if you're ever wanting to know what's where at uh, Hardbeck, he's a good man to ask because he knows all the little uh, pockets or older casks and where they're sitting. So can you disclose how many casks go into one bottling? Is it in the uh... single digits or...? Uh, yes, it's not big bottlings. Yeah. I genuinely don't know off the top mm. of my head, but they're not big bottlings. When we're, we disgorge everything at Ardbeg, as you know, so everything's done at the distillery and they tend to be relatively small volumes that we do. Um, the majority we do in the core range are, are bigger bottlings, a lot bigger than the, it's the, something like the Trivan. And uh, you've brought a second bottling with you that we can talk about. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, very special for the distillery. Yeah, absolutely. So we have done a committee release mm. of the 17-year-old, um, which originally ran 1997 to 2004. 
um, when Glenn Morangy bought Ardbeg in 97, there was a lot of older stock. Mm -hmm. And actually, some of the very well-aged stock was, um, when they distilled the spirit at Ardbeg, it was using lower peated malt. Um, so obviously we have very high phenol, uh, you know, peated malt that we use for our bag, around 55 ppm. But back in the day they would use quite often unpeated or lower peated malt that was codenamed Kildalton. Um, not the Kildalton bottling, that's separate, this was the codename yeah. back in the day. Um, so what's happened over the years, we've managed to build a bit of that older stock again. Um, and the decision was made to try and recreate something that resembles 17. Now, you're never going to exactly recreate. Um, but, but you try to go yeah, this direction, Yeah, you want, right? because 17 always had, it was um, quite a soft art bag. Uh, it was quite a delicate art bag. And because there was quite a lot of lower peated um, spirit in it, it was more subtle, I would say, but a fantastic whiskey and an absolute favorite. So what we did was we sat down and we we tried to recreate something like the 17. Now, because we wanted to recreate it, we have actually bottled it chill filtered and at 40% as per the original. So we'll see how that's received because obviously our big, we are passionate about bottling 46% and above and we don't chill filter our mm. whiskey. Of course. So that was a big decision that we, again, looking back to how it was originally, that was the decision that was made. So quite different. Um, but yeah, and it's going to be great to see how it's received. It's a committee release. So it's, again, not a big release, but okay. uh, we'll be trying it, yeah. And if this all goes well, can we probably expect to see all the uh, art bags re-released? Like, for example... Some of my favorites, the blaster. Well, <laughs> do you know what I love about art bags? Is it always it gets great conversation. Your favorite, the blaster. Do you know I, I I was speaking to someone recently about blaster, and it's still oh blaster, you know. And some people loved it, some not so much. But we're always looking. We mm. like to experiment. I think a lot of the whiskies that we released previously, the real favourites are always going to be hard to truly recreate. Yeah. So we've tried it here with 17. Mm. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to watch the space. You can never say never with our big. We may well uh, re-release or we're always looking to see what's in, what's in the warehouse. So Colin, thank you for the time you spent with us. Thank you. I'm so much looking forward to the tasting now and Yes. Have a good time in Vienna. How long will you stay? I'm just here till tomorrow. Oh. Um, I know, it's not enough. But uh, no, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me, Dankeschön. It's been lovely to be here. Yeah.